Museum here. Thank you so much for coming. It's great to see a sold out house. Thank you for supporting the music. I'd like to introduce these great musicians. One of the finest uh, Hammond organists on the scene today, Mr. Jared Gold. Jared Gold. One of the finest drummers on the scene today, Mr. McClenny Hunter Jr. McClenny Hunter. Of course, you know the one and only Mr. Warren Wolf. That's enough. You've heard of him, I guess. <laughs> one of the greatest sax players in the world today, Mr. Bob Mincer. Bob Mincer. where they made me. You know, I had a great uh, opportunity to study at Morgan State under the uh, leadership of Melvin Miles. And, uh, man, without him, I probably wouldn't even be here right now. But So shout out to Melvin Miles, Jermaine and Jared uh, Miles as well. His sons, great trumpet player, great trombonist. Yeah. Um, a lot of Baltimore musicians I grew up playing with around here um, in my early days. And, uh, yeah, if it wasn't from Baltimore, I don't know where I would be. <laughs> I, got a lot, I got a lot of my, you know, my grits and gravy, that groove. Playing in the clubs, you know, at the Haven, you know, at Cave's Castle. Whoa. Yeah, so this is, this is, yeah. I understand you grew up in Columbia. Yeah, I did. I went to high school there. Actually born in Detroit. We went to high school in Columbia. Which Oakland one? Mills. Oakland Mills Oakland High School. Mills. Class 99, shout out, you know, <laughs> <laughs> where you at? <laughs> We're class 99, yeah. So what drove you to jazz, though? Oh, man, um, a good friend of mine, a good mentor. Actually, I just performed with them at the uh, African American Museum. Uh, down in DC. Um, his name is Darren Atwater uh, with the organization, a, a great uh, collective called the Soulful Symphony. Mm -hmm. And he was a minister of music at my church, took me under his wing, and was like, hey man, you gotta check out some other styles of music. You know, it's more than music than just gospel. And I was like, oh, okay, so we started checking out. And my first jazz club I went to uh, was Blues Alley. Ooh. Uh, checking out the great Kenny Garrett. Mm -hmm. So, and now I'm playing with Kenny, so that's pretty cool. So you always like drums? Oh, always, always loved the drums. Started playing the drums when I was two. Straight church boy. <laughs> Straight, learn how to play from playing the church. Yeah, the drums, you know. Well, it's good to see you again. Oh, well, always great to be seen, always great to be home. Okay. Thank you, brother. All right, man. All right. Baltimore. Oh, I love Baltimore. It's just a drop down the turnpike for me. <laughs> <laughs> but you you seem to have a different face that you're showing me now when you're playing the instrument. What does it do to I, you? I can't. I'm trying to control two feet and two hands, yeah. so I can't worry about my face. <laughs> but I know I've been I've been been told I make some interesting faces. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I was just wondering to know how are you feeling when, especially when you're doing some of those, like the Marvin Gaye piece or. The, oh, I love that music. I mean, yeah. yeah. Yeah, those, those old those old classics. Man, that's I love to record those on my records, and, and we play them a lot on gigs. And I, you know, I, I rearrange a lot of those old tunes too. So it's, yeah, there's nothing better than playing something somebody knows. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah. But well, thanks a lot. Yeah.
go ahead. Tell me what you say. So this is Warren Wolf yeah. uh, coming live from the uh, Baltimore Museum of Art with Dave Stryker, uh, great Bob Mentor, McClinty Hunter, and Jared Gold on organ. And sold out place. We had a great time. Uh, some nice down home feel good blues playing have tonight. It's not something that I personally get to do too much, and it's not something that you really get to hear nowadays in today's jazz music. A lot of times you hear a lot of music that uh, you know a lot of musicians are trying to uh, impress one another, but this stuff you know you feel it. It's yeah. something that you just really feel when you're playing some blues, which is uh, the root of, of, of all uh, music actually, not just jazz, but the root of all music. Yeah. So uh, it was a great time to play with Dave Striker. He's one of the best guitar players and musicians to do it today and I was you know a great time to be a part of it. Are you trying to bring this instrument back to popularity? <laughs> I've been bringing this back to popularity for a long time now but if I can honestly just keep doing it more and more um, you know it's a good instrument you know for people to see you know if you see it right here it's, it's, it's red bars this is not the this is not a, a light reflecting down on it so um, yeah, you know, it just uh, it's, it's, it's one of those instruments that people you can visually see and hear. Yes. And you know, uh, and nothing against the saxophone, trumpet, or things like that, but you, you know, you, you can't see what they're doing when they're doing this. Right. But here, you can see me actually beating this instrument. So I like your you know, speed. Oh, so, well, that comes from uh, the speed comes from the classical training. Oh. Okay. So when I was a youngster, a lot of of the members of the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra and other folks, they would uh, always challenge me to play like violin pieces, pieces and flute pieces and you know concertos, sonatas and things like that. So I had no choice but to keep up with those recordings. So that's where the speed came from. Cool. Well, congratulations. No problem. Thank you. Pleasure to be here.